Welcome back, and I've got a really unusual and interesting experiment for you today. What we're going to look at is not how we can bend, refract, or focus light through glass, but to see if we can do the same from microwaves. So I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, glass prisms like this and we can shine light through them and we can do two things, uh, at least two things. We can cause the light to disperse and produce nice rainbow patterns for us or we can cause it to totally internally reflect. But what I thought we'd do today is to see whether we could do that with another wave in the electromagnetic spectrum and if we go below visible light and below infrared we get to microwaves. And what I've got here is a microwave transmitter and a microwave receiver. And what I want to do is to see whether I can do the same things, but instead of using a glass prism, I'm going to use a great big block of wax. So isn't it odd that to change the direction of microwaves, other than reflecting them off a metal surface, we don't use glass, but we use a wax like beeswax. And we've got a whole series of these blocks in the cupboard in the laboratory, ranging from uh, prisms with different angles to them, to in fact, we've got lenses made out of wax. So that's a lens you can't even see through, but it will refract microwave radiation. So let's set up the equipment and see how this works. So let me quickly explain the apparatus that I've got here. Uh, I've got a power supply driving a microwave transmitter and I'm transmitting a sound wave via this microwave link so we can uh, actually hear what's happening in this experiment. You don't have to, you can use uh, ammeters to pick up the signal on this side because we've got a receiver. And the receiver is going to pick up the microwave radiation, feed it into an amplifier strip out the sound wave and then we'll hear the sound that's being carried by the microwave. So it's a bit like a very simple mobile phone network that we've got transmitter and audio at this side and receiving at that side. So let's turn it on, see what happens. So I'll turn on the microwave transmitter. There we go. And we've got microwaves going across this gap. I've made it very narrow for the purpose of filming and being picked up by the receiver and then the sound wave that's being carried, being amplified by this amplifier here. Now, just to prove that I'm not cheating, here's an uh, aluminium plate, and we can block the microwaves. But what I want to do now is I want to move the receiver at 90 degrees to the beam from the transmitter, and I think you're pretty clear what will happen then. We won't pick up any of the microwaves. So I'm now going to move the microwave receiver and instead of it being head on, it's facing me. So the microwaves are going this way and are missing the receiver completely. But this is the easy bit and not really what I wanted to show you today. But I just remind you that if I take a mirror at 45 degrees, I can reflect the microwaves off the mirror and into the receiver. In other words, they're coming towards you, towards the camera. But what's much more interesting is can we do that with a wax block? So here we go, the microwave transmitter's on, going that way. The receiver is between uh, me and the camera. Those are the microwaves. So here we've got a wax block, so it looks a bit like a normal prism for light. And what I'm going to do is put the wax block here. And there you go. So the wax block behaves just like the mirrored surface. In other words, it's behaving just like a prism doing total internal reflection. So this is best viewed from above, but if I just hold it up like that to show you, the microwaves were coming in this way reflecting off this surface and going that way. And obviously if I turn it like that, it was sending the microwave radiation from the transmitter, totally internally reflecting off this surface and into the receiver. And all of that is from a block of wax, which I find rather fun. Okay, so viewed from above, there's our transmitter. Here's the receiver. 
there are the microwaves reflecting off the uh, metal plate and now the right angle prism goes in and we get total internal reflection of a wax prism. Anyway, this is a lovely demonstration and I wonder just how many schools out there have got these wax blocks hiding away in cupboards and they've got no idea what they were used for. So, if you want to change the direction of microwaves, you're not going to use glass as you would with light electromagnetic radiation. One of the ways you can do it is with wax blocks and lenses. So I do hope you enjoyed that look at microwave radiation and wax blocks. As ever, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then.